Selena Gomez totally in control of me? Yes. Let me tell you why. First, I am head over heels in love with her. Okay? Second, she came along in my life right when I needed her most. Third, she's a very loving and caring woman. Fourth, she guides me and has never told me wrong yet. Get it? It's like she can read my mind or something. I honestly don't care if she can. Love has no bounds, so I honestly don't care what you all think so far as our age difference goes. Those fussing about this and kiss by you know what, as far as I'm concerned. Just as Jay here and how I feel about this, thank you. been said on the show, Tosh.0, to the best of my knowledge, I am a pedophile and by others making comments on my YouTube account. I am not a pedophile and to say such is slander. They also said I need to be locked up. One radio station said in an interview I need to either be on medication or in a mental hospital. All that is slander. I do not appreciate such false truths being said about me, and if it doesn't stop, I'm going to sue. This is an important message from the Fulton County Board of Education. Your daughter, Skip Runte, has just murdered Senor Robert Velasquez, Senor Tony Casani. Same your action Simon. Same your Noah. And same your Stinson. Your daughter has been taken into the custody of the Fulton County Sherman Squad, where she will be buried alive, thrown in a snake pit, and hanged for her act against humanity. If the culprit, Skip Runtin, survives this ordeal, she will be rewarded a smiley sticker and be patted on the bottom for an accumulation of 30 seconds. Thank you so very much for your time Mr. and Mrs. Skip Rante. To heart is a message in the game press 1. To hear David Benoit expose occultic tendencies in rock music press 2. You know they tell me, they tell me that if you serve Jesus Christ you'll do strange things like you won't beat your wife anymore. They say, if you become a Christian, you won't get drunk and come home and slap your children around. If you do, if you become a Christian, you'll do some strange things. I'm going to tell you something. If you live in rock and roll, you'll do some strange things. You see, because rock and roll is not just music. Rock and roll is a lifestyle. It's buttons. It's posters. It's, it's the different paraphernalia that they wear. I mean, you look at some of these guys walking down the street, you can tell what kind of music they wear. Just... Uh, the music they listen to just by the clothing that they wear. Well, anyway, he was in that auditorium, and as he was in that auditorium, that night they were sitting there, and all these guys were going, and I started talking about hell. They go, Amen, brother, hallelujah. I mean, they started harassing me when I started talking about hell, because they said, All right, party time. All my friends are going to be down there. Then all of a sudden, I started talking about the biblical view of hell. Put in Luke chapter 16, we're talking about a rich man who died and went to this place called hell. And hell, he lifted up his eyes and said, Father Abraham, send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and touch my tongue, for I am in torment in these flames. First thing I know about hell, hell is a place of desire. That man had a desire for water, and he'll never have another drink of water. He also was in flames, an eternal flame. It's like touching a fire and never being able to pull your hands off of it. Forever and ever, I had a young boy who came to my seminar one night in Phoenix, Arizona. He had been burnt over 80% of his body. They had grafted pieces of skin from other parts of his body and they had made him little lips. Now, he didn't have lips like you and I have lips, but they grafted little skin and made him lips.
work today? Oh, pretty good. We got a new client at the bank. We'll make a lot of money. What client? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Oh, come on. Why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? You can't talk about it? Why not? Take your time. Oh, God. Already? Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, it's on me. Yeah. See you. Um, See so you, like, Mark. Can you go jogging? Yeah, yeah sure. What time? Golden Gate Park, 6.30. Hear Mr. Robbie sorry about how my kite landed in your backyard and knocked over the chimney. I am real sorry Mr. Robbie, Nick Palmer made me do it, I swear I will come and fix it tomorrow. Scout Sonner, sincerely, Frank Lentesh, P.S. I like your beard. My dad says one day I can grow a beard too. C T C T C T C T C T C T C T C T C T C C T C T C T C T C T C T C T C T C T C T C Do you feel better, Jack? No. Have you ever seen anybody play the game called soccer? You're the coach, aren't you, for the team? You're the coach, aren't you, for the team? You're the coach, aren't you, for the team? We've come to learn about soccer. I think you must want one, four, three, six, eight, seven, zero. Yo, yo, ma. Yo, 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 ma. Joe Negri. And now, a message from the Power Rangers. Hey, nice contribution to the environment. Who are you, the litter police? What kind of world would this be if everyone had your attitude? Looks like everybody already does. That doesn't mean you have to add to the problem. What difference does it make? A single person can make all the difference. How? Well, find something you care about and take action. There are a lot of different groups where people work together and solve the big problems. All right. How do you solve the problem of war? Well, you don't. But you can start by communicating with your friends and avoiding fights. What about discrimination? Well, you can start by treating everyone equally. Well, what about the environment? The world is so big. Well, you can help in your own neighborhood, you can volunteer at school, you can recycle. You can also learn how to go a better shot. <laughs> and we can start by cleaning up our local pollution. Our local what? This place, the total mess. What you do matters. Each of us can make a difference. Do something positive. <laughs> for the first time you know my culture is that uh, at the, at, when you're at home your mother and their father they, they kiss themselves no and I still to this day kiss my father on the lips and we hug each other and everybody talks at the dinner table
One, two, three, four. Hey! 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 Master Plan! One, two, three, four. Hey! 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 Master Plan! One, two, three, four. Hey! Hey! One, two, three, four. Hey! 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 Master Plan! One, two, three, four. Hey! 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 Master Plan! One, two, three, four. Hey! 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 Master Plan! That's it. You represent I hope you have a zesty orgasm of book qua book qua book boobin. Said my heart's too strong. I find some way to get some relief. They can't prepare you for war, but never for how she tears your heart piece by piece, and then she lets it rot.
said, come on, take my hand, come on, let's light up the town. I was just bringing her down There's the ghost of a good time It ain't somewhere in your smile And it will linger For just a little while Until you let it disappear And do you know that you saved my soul? You is the one with herpes, not me and do you know what that means to me? Hold on me. That you saved my soul And do you know what that means to me? So let's bring back rock and roll And dance till we cannot breathe
yourself Hector Santana. You made it through the whole film without coming on your feet or throwing up on your seat. I would like to take this time to thank Chipper, Kevin Peterson, Bella II, Smash Mouth and Jimmy Neutron. You boys did a fabulous job fighting for male pregnancy rights and I hope to soon receive unlimited abortions from Costco. Perth, 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 perth. 
punch me again, I dare you.